possible. I'm pretty sure from like my hands is what actually What is going on everybody? Hope everyone is good. Just wrapped up another jujitsu class in the morning. Jujitsu before the sun is up. That's how I like to start the morning. Every morning, honestly, that is a regimen of mine. Whether it is jujitsu, uh, at the gym, a run, just basically my regimen, how I start the, start the day, which allow the creative juices to flow, get prepped for another brutal day, is I always make sure I get up early. I always make sure I get up before the sun comes up, usually around 3.30 or 4.30, depending, depending on what's going on. And then I go work out, non-negotiable. It doesn't matter where I'm at, what state I'm in, what country I'm in, the morning routine begins with a workout because that allows me to just all the stress, things that are just bothering me maybe from the night before, things that I allowed to come into my mind and bother me, listen to what I said, allow. We all have a choice. We have a choice to what gets to us. We have a choice to what bothers us. We have a choice to say, hey, I'm gonna get up or not. We all have a choice. So I choose to get up early and put in the work. No matter, I'm tired of this and that. There's a lot of things I don't wanna do, but there's quite a few things that I need to do. And I'm making sure I differentiate the two of them. So my morning routine, get up early, hit the gym, hit the jujitsu mat, hit the track, knock out the workout. Endorphins are high, natural test production is through the roof, metabolism is going crazy, you're getting sweaty, you just feel better. You'll feel better after the workout than if you were just trying to get up, throw some water on your face, okay, wash your butt, and then get out of there, right? So once that begins, now you're already starting off with the win. You're already starting off with the win, Thorpe. Win, W-I, okay, you, you get it. All right, I know that was corny. And then whatever life throws at you, and you're already working off of a high, a high, high, high vibration. So little things that might have bothered you, you're not even sweating it because you're already starting off so high in a high vibration that you're not allowing it to get to you. You're focused on what you need to get done and what you can control. A lot of things we can control, we choose to allow things we can't control to get on our nerves to bother us. So this is how the creative flow begins. And now I can go ahead, get on the computer, answering the emails, answering calls, get behind the camera, just deal with the craziness for the next however many hours, and we do it all over again. So guys, go start your morning. If you wanna know where to get your creative flow, where do you get the ideas? Believe it or not, it comes from the workouts more times than not, because during the workout, during the run, during jujitsu, the focus and the attention is funneled down. When I'm rolling, I'm only, I'm allowing my mind just to be focused on the one task. When I'm working out or running and I'm, my legs are on fire and I wanna go, I'm focused on that one task at hand. And I keep that, that thought process with funneling ideas, funneling thoughts down to where, okay, what do I wanna work on? What do I wanna create? Who do I wanna reach out to? What, what new ideas, what new projects would I like to be a part of? You know, who should I email? Who haven't I emailed? I'm, I allow myself to niche it down. And to, I'm sorry, to funnel it down. And that's where a lot of times ideas come from. We talk about meditation. Meditation isn't just about sitting still, you know, legs crossed. You know, that's, yes, that is a form of meditation, but that's not the only type of meditation. There's multitudes of meditation. Meditation can come from running. Meditation can come from the workout. You know, people ask me, why don't I wear headphones in the gym? I mean, aside from the fact that these ears won't allow me, but I'm in my own thoughts. I'm literally in my thoughts, meditating while I'm at the, at the gym, you know, focusing, just channeling all that energy, thinking about, okay, how do we just go harder? How do we go stronger? How do we go faster? How do we go better? How do we go smarter? So that's where I get a lot of my meditation from, is during the jujitsu, after jujitsu, the ride home from jujitsu. I tell anyone, you can come in here and go through an hour and a half of just facing your adversity. Oh yeah, that's awful. I believe you can conquer many, many things outside of here. Things look kind of easy once you walk out of the door, once you've accomplished what you've accomplished in here. And I'm a firm, 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 firm believer in that. 
So I want you guys to start your morning off with a workout. I don't care if it's a 30 minute, 40, go for an hour. All right, sit your bar high, go for an hour. Start your day with a workout, challenge yourself. Get up just a little bit earlier. You need to get up at six because it gives you exactly an hour to get ready for work. All right, let's go, let's wake up at five o'clock. Take that extra hour. You've been wanting to say you wanna start working on your script. You wanted to work on some new editing. You wanted to work on some new projects. All right, and you always say you don't have time or you know, the evenings are so crazy. All right, we'll get up in the morning, get it done, and then go to work and go, right? Get up five o'clock, go work out. Go to jujitsu, sign up. I've been telling you guys to sign up for how many videos now, but I'm not gonna bother you today. I'm gonna get out of here, dry off, and the show continues. Let's get it.